<laughs> so you can finish uh, just just answer like <laughs> chat mode. <laughs> <laughs> It's fine. Yeah, yeah, that's it. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, go ahead, Doug. So today, I'm gonna re present about the five game. So I'm gonna talk about the uh, 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 what is five game, what it can do, and some installation for the five game, uh, the basic structure of the main file, some drawing in five game, event monitoring, and finally the uh, file installer utility. So what is Pygame? Pygame is uh, basically it's a Python uh, library, and it was uh, it uh, has been uh, developed by a small group of uh, voluntary uh, developers. So it's not a project of any organizations, and it's free and open source uh, uh, library. So you can modify the uh, uh, library as you need, or you can contribute your code uh, to the community of uh, Pygame. And my game is built on top of uh, SDL library. So many of you may have known that the S SDL library is uh, uh, the SDL library of the uh, low level asset uh, to the uh, hardware level like uh, uh, keyboard, your mouse, audio, and graphic uh, hardware. And this is uh, commonly used in, uh, it is commonly used by many uh, game companies like uh, Vail. So if you play Color you may have uh, no, uh, you may have part of the uh, companies. And the library can run on nearly uh, uh, many platforms and all and operating systems, so it's a uh, cross platform uh, library. And one of in the interesting thing that I uh, found during uh, doing this uh, slide is that the uh, core functions of my game are developed with the C code and uh, assembly code because uh, those codes are, are usually uh, 20 to uh, 100 times faster than the Python code. And what it can do? Uh, usually uh, people use the buy game to create games and they can also use it to create other multimedia applications like, uh, uh, like a music player or something like that. And it can relate from simple to complex uh, applications. So as you can see here, you can use it to create a snack game, uh, a, simple, uh, a, a Super Mario clone, or even uh, quite complicated uh, games like uh, Unity upcoming. And that game is 100% uh, relate with uh, Python. So let's come to some installation and coding install on the uh, Pygam. There are two ways to install Pygam. The first way is to use the Py command. It's very simple. And the, first, and the second way is uh, download the uh, SCP, the installation file from the official side of uh, Pygam. And you can run it uh, on any uh, operating system like Windows, Unix, and uh, Mac OS. And uh, when you execute the uh, the game or the program, it, it will invoke uh, the main file of the program. And basically the file has uh, three sections. First section is the game class, where you will uh, uh, define on your game logic. And the second uh, section is uh, the main functions to uh, uh, initialize uh, the game object and also the by game object. The by game object needs to be uh, initialized before you use it. Yes. And also the last section is where you call the math function. So the math function cannot be called itself. You need to have a block of special code to call, uh, uh, to call the uh, math functions. So let me quickly show you the, the main file. So let's see the mouse. So this is the, the uh, game object on the game class, where you define on the game logic functions. 
And this is how you initialize the um, by game uh, library. Can you please go back to page Okay. Um, <laughs> that's right. So in the uh, main functions, uh, you will uh, initialize the by game library. Uh, initialize the game up. This is so. Uh, it should. It, I think. No, it's it's that. Because it's not hook up in HDMI, it's like Sam. So the main loop is uh, where you will uh, run the game, and it will uh, uh, run until you close the game windows, until uh, you want to uh, restart the game. And this is the special block of code that I talked about. Uh, this is where you call, call the main functions. Actually, the uh, okay. you want to say something? No, I'm just asking, or do you like go out and inherit from the game object? Actually, the game object like you know the um, the main object. Man, that's you. Even even Sam's online, he's calling you out because <laughs> you've been doing it every meeting. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he, I don't know. <laughs> Uh, continue. Okay. <laughs> so the game object is where you de define the, the main logic. What if you also have other objects like? Uh, <laughs> 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 again, again, again. <laughs> nothing. Nothing. Sorry, we're distracting you because of yeah. sad. <laughs> so basically, you can have uh, multiple objects beside the game object, but uh, the game object will be the main object where you call all the objects. In your games, I don't know. I think have man up, man function. Right? It should be something like a controller, control with one. Right? Yeah. So usually, I will use the main functions to call uh, the order objects, okay. but you can also call an order object within, uh, you know, within the uh, game object. So the yeah. game object wraps all the objects. Yeah, okay. most of the things. Is that right? Yeah. Actually, you can use uh, you know different design patterns uh, to design your uh, okay. program. And let's go to some. Uh, let's talk about some uh, rowing in by game. So in by game, you have two ways to draw an object. The first way is to use the raw method of the by game, and the second way is to draw a sprite. And to to draw with the uh, and to use the raw method, you can uh, draw some shape. Uh, you can draw some symbol or shape like the rectangle, the circle, or polygon. And this is uh, some uh, symbol methods that you can use to draw those subjects. It looks like the the, the matplotlib right? or, or the R. You may I'm uh, creating the stuff. Mm -hmm. Uh, so if you want to add the uh, uh, an image, you have to use Sprite, yeah. because uh, the raw method can only draw on a symbol object, uh, only can draw on a symbol shape. So how do you how do you use that in the game? Like the like if it only builds the shape or symbol, how do you combine and create a, create an image or an object? 
Uh, there, there is a special method uh, to relate, you know, like, uh, let me, sh let me show you the code. Other functions yeah, actually, there is another function to draw the image. So basically, the, uh, uh, the raw just, you know, just draw an, an object, it doesn't draw the image. So you have to use another uh, method to add the image uh, on top of the uh, shape that you just draw. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Probably under the hood, I still use those low level to just give you the point with point with the color. So it's like in the axis. So So the next thing that you guys have been asking is uh, how to add an image. So you can use the sprite to add uh, an image. So basically a sprite is, uh, has all the basic functions of the raw method, but uh, they have some extra functions like uh, you can add an image to the sprite or you can uh, check the collision uh, between, two, uh, between two images. Or you can draw or not the uh, image uh, in your program just with a single line of uh, code. So basically, usually when people are using uh, the sprite, they will, they will write a list of sprite. And when they want to draw it, they just uh, uh, write something like uh, list.draw, and it will, draw in, uh, it will draw everything in the list for you. Yeah. And uh, as you can see here, every object in uh, this image uh, is a sprite, a small block, and even the, uh, the creatures, they are on sprites. And the event monitoring is uh, one of the important uh, component in the buy game because this is where you, uh, you catch uh, the interaction uh, or the action of the users. For example, when the user press a button on, they want to move the character in the game. This is where you will use. Uh, uh, this is where you will monitor the uh, user actions. And now let's say that you play a game and you want to uh, uh, distribute this to your user, or you want to send it to your friend. You need to uh, package all the code and all the resources into. Uh, single file or maybe uh, a zip file so that you can send it over the internet. So you can use the buy installer utility. So this basically will uh, package on the Python application and resources uh, in your program into a uh, standalone uh, executable. And it can run on uh, multiple operating system like uh, Windows, uh, Mac OS, and uh, uh, Unix. And to install this uh, utility, you can use the command uh, uh, by install by installer, and there are two two ways to create your deliverable. The first way is to create a bundle. So when I say a bundle, it means that you will create a zip file. So it will have a phone structure, yeah. And the second way is uh, create an executable file. So it's just a single file, and you just send that file to your friend. And one drawback of the uh, executable file is that whenever you execute the file, it needs to extract all the re resources to a temporary location. So let's say that you have a game, uh, a very heavy game of uh, two gigabytes, then it's going to take a lot of time to uh, uh, extract all the resources. So in that case, I would prefer to use uh, the real uh, bundle for that. But if you only have a single game, you can use uh, the executable file. Uh, Sana has a quick question. Yeah. Okay. Uh, he asked the question from the source code. Why so many LCs signal? Why not three signal? Actually, I haven't seen the uh, switch the switch case. Uh, you know, syntax in the Python. Uh, well, they don't yeah. have. Really? Yeah. Yeah. If maybe you want they to don't use have switch case. You have to create that function for it. So. Normally in Python, the general style is you use else. Yeah, I know it. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's interesting. They want to make it simple. That's yeah, simple. Just simple. So they just 
get rid of any like a uh, double style. Yeah. You, know? yeah. you have no choice. <laughs> you have no choice. You only use this. Yeah. So in uh, Python, you don't have something like uh, integer or double like uh, in uh, other language. And uh, I have some magic code for you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, they have it, and this is oh His favorite word is the magic code. <laughs> so basically, you use this uh, magic code uh, when you uh, want to write an execute uh, when you want to write an executable file. Because uh, as I said, that when you execute a file, it needs to extract on the resources to a temporary uh, location. So if uh, you don't use this code, uh, it doesn't know where the resources is. So you need to uh, put uh, this kind of uh, code in your program to uh, access the resource. And also you can, uh, when you run the um, command to a package at your application, you need to add the data to, uh, like I can say that this is my uh, definition. So, uh, it um, we show uh, even though this is uh, document in the documentation of the uh, by game, but it's very hard to understand. So I uh, uh, had to spend like uh, one day to uh, file this uh, fly up uh, command. So just want to share to you guys. And this is the end of my uh, presentation. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, let's don't forget to remove your shares. Got a small question. Oh, Sam has a question first. I think he said I I would ask. Oh, yeah. I think I know his question. Sam, you can go ahead and unmute yourself. Yes. Uh, my question is, how how this uh, study is related to your future goal. You want to have the develop the games. You want to have your game company. So you are studying this one, or just uh, you are learn this one. Actually, I just use the uh, my game library to learn Python. Oh, so, okay. Uh, okay. Project, uh, yeah, Python. Justin. You know, Python is a very good for also data science, right? Yes. Because a couple of students here, they want to learn data science. And so because of that, we can study the SQL, we can study the R, also we can study uh, Python, also we can study Mendix. Yeah, currently I'm working with uh, one student and one faculty to bring the data science to the, our computer science curriculum, especially ITM, GMT courses. So if you can, you are studying Python, Next time, would you have an example of a, a data analytics or data science? I know game is a good, but you can help others too. Yes, I will try to do that. Yeah. Also, uh, why don't you think of your capstone project even now? So when will you graduate? This is, this summer? No, this fall or next winter? Uh, when, uh, December. When? December. December means now you are going to start your capstone project. So now you are studying skills, but skills is not enough. You have to solve some problem. So uh, select your area, then if you can use a lot of uh, Python, especially, uh, what is it, full stack Python with Django, Flasker, those things really will help us. Also, it really help you too. How do you think of that? Yes. So uh, I think I'm gonna you know really plan to learn about the Django. That's why yeah. that's why I'm my next goal. Okay, great. Okay, thank you. Good jobs. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah.